Uh, Spencer, thank you for taking time with us off the block blog. Uh, congratulations on the uh, sweep of Santa Barbara. Initial impressions of the match? Uh, I was really happy. We, we did a lot of work on our serving, and I think the, a lot of the guys are um, taking it um, in stride and, and trying to implement some of the um, mental things that we're teaching them and the, uh, the technique. Um, so really proud of that. Um, I thought our offense was better than it has been, uh, connecting with uh, a lot of the players that are, are left sides are, are starting to figure it out, um, hit with a little bit more range. So yeah, I was, I was pretty proud of their performance. Uh, let's talk about you coming back home, home being that you were a volunteer assistant here uh, a, couple, a few years ago. Uh, how does it feel like uh, coming back to Westwood? Uh, it was pretty funny. I was gone for you know a season and a half, um, and uh, yeah, so I've, I've actually got to coach Micah and Dylan and, and that class um, for three of their four years. So um, it's pretty nice being back. It, it felt really smooth um, in the huddles and stuff. To, like we like we didn't miss a beat. And obviously, I tried to learn as much as I could last time I was here and implement that at Cal and. Um, Coming back here, it's uh, you know it's really nice. They they do things really well here uh, administratively, and um, everyone's a, a professional, um, and it's, it's great to be around that. You take over for uh, Brad Keller, and uh, obviously I'm a big fan of his, and he's a huge recruiter and uh, just a great coach. Um, how does it feel to uh, take uh, or follow in his shoes, uh, footsteps? Yeah, you know he's it's definitely big footsteps. He's got um, a really good eye for talent, um, really good recruiter. He's, I feel like he was always on the phone, sending emails, talking to recruits. Um, so I've definitely got a lot of work to do there. Um, and, and volleyball wise, he, he was one of the most prepared people I've ever been around. So uh, I tried to learn as much as I could from him. And um, But at the same time, I got to be my own coach and um, learn some things that, or implement some things that I learned on the on the women's side. Uh, they do things a little bit differently, and, and the guys can learn from them. Not only the women learn from the men. So um, I'm excited to try and uh, do some of those new things. Um, but uh, Brad's definitely left this program in a in a really good place, and uh, it's it's an honor to take over for him. Anybody who watches uh, Hawaii uh, men's volleyball knows who your dad is. So what uh, advice did he give you when you told him that you took this job? Um. What advice did he give me? Uh, that's a great question. He, he has a lot of advice. He's a wise guy. You know, he's 70, going to be 73. Um, Should you be telling the world that? Yeah, yeah, he's not ashamed. Um, I mean, he looks like he's 63. Um, no, but he's uh, he, he told me to... Um, there, there's kind of two phases that you can go about in coaching. You know, you get to... You can create... Um, and, and learn that way by you know trial by error, um, or you can learn from the great ones. And, and I get to I get to learn from a great one again and be a little bit more hands-on than I was last time. So um, he told me to make the most of it uh, this time. So um, took his advice and, and came here, and uh, I'm excited to to get to the grind. You know, back to back in season. Uh, you know, women in season in the fall, and then now men's in season. So no break. No break. I love it. <laughs> Um, obviously, you just uh, joined the team on Sunday, so well, not not a lot of uh, uh, to go on. But uh, you mentioned how the team um, has really improved uh, serving. But the other end, uh, reception. What have you seen um, from your guys that uh, they've done to improve the uh, serve reception part? Yeah, you know it's tough. So our, our main passers are, are three guys who never played with each other uh, until this season, and even in the fall, I don't even think they get to play that much together. So uh, a lot of passing is just trusting the guy next to you, and trust takes time to build. It doesn't happen overnight, and uh, I actually thought they did a pretty good job of that tonight. A few too many overpasses, but I, I have to give credit to Santa Barbara's servers. They um, went on a huge run in the first set to kind of close the gap and. And they uh, forced us to call um, a couple timeouts in the uh, in the third set. So you gotta um, you know tip your cap to them because they uh, go behind the line and they rip. So uh, I was actually pretty proud of, of of our passers for battling against some really good servers tonight. Can you tell us a little bit more about that run that Sam Barber went on? Is that anything more than just uh, serve receive? Um, 
I, I think it was mostly that. I, th I think they put us in a couple of uncomfortable situations, um, but I also think our guys were um, trying to be a little too aggressive. You know, maybe when you are up by that, uh, I think it was like 18, 18 to six, and, and I think they kind of got a little ahead of themselves and trying to run um, some offense that we weren't comfortable with, but that's a good time to practice it. Um, but Santa Barbara, um, they're fighters. They're always fighters. And if you uh, have a couple misconnects, they're gonna take advantage of it. So um, yeah, you gotta, gotta be on it. There's no, <laughs> there's no time for that. And then last question, um, it's on uh, Saturday's matches against uh, a repeat of the uh, NCAA Finals, uh, Long Beach State. Uh, obviously, we're not on a bitch for that, but uh, can you preview the match uh, as you, you see it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Long Beach, uh, I, I know that all the guys are really excited to play them. Um, I know Long Beach is really excited to come here, or at least I assume they are. That, uh, I know a lot of the guys on that team, and um, they're... Uh, they're a very tight unit. A lot of those guys have been playing together for over four years, more than just college. So um, they really move as one. It's really, uh, really fun to play against. And uh, you know, as a coach, I admire a lot of the, the things that they're doing. Um, and and sometimes you can only do that when you have guys that are uh, so cohesive. Um, and, and for our side, it, we're going to have to serve like we did tonight, if not maybe a little bit better. Um, they. They've got some good guns that can do pretty all-world things. They've got a couple of players that you know are in the national team and are, are training in the national team gym. So um, I know our guys are excited to get after it with them. Uh, it's going to be a battle. Well, thank you for taking time with us off the block, and uh, congratulations on the uh, new job and uh, the uh, sweep tonight. Thank you. Go